What is design? What does it mean in our daily lives? How does it impact us? And do we even know when it does? I'm Dr. Mike North, a design engineer. And today, we're gonna to learn about the potential of robotics. We're at Fetch Robotics, creators of autonomous and collaborative robots. Let's go see what they're up to. All right, Fetch 3, give me the tour. My first robotic tour guide. Check out this guy. Look at that. It's like disco dancing here. We're in the Fetch Robotics production and demo and overall robot play area. And the thing that I'm blown away by is Fetch isn't even a year and a half old. Right now, we're in the process of working with customers to do interesting things, uh, kind of like what Aaron is showing right now in our demo. You can see back here, the robot's following Aaron like a puppy dog. Our robot's helping pickers be more efficient in e-commerce, logistics, uh, manufacturing, things like that. So this is what you do with a software engineering degree. Yes, it's very important. I think everyone in the robotics community wants to get to that point where it's as simple as saying, I'm going to program my robot today. And what they mean by program their robot is download a new app. There's a robot following me. <laughs> I've never had a robot follow me before. This is a little creepy. <laughs> we spend quite a bit of time making robots look cute or, I guess, approachable. I'm not afraid of them. Yeah. I just walked right over to them. Yeah. I mean... And and that <laughs> and that approachability is something that we worked on, and it really has to do with. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that roboticists have studied over the years about what makes a robot approachable or cute. And it's the, the aspect ratio of the head, so it's wider than it is tall. This uh, is amazing. I feel like I'm in the future of living collaboratively with robots. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so very much for coming to see us and play with our robots. Yeah. Thank you, Fetch3. Thank you, Fetch2. All right, let's get out of here.